Good morning. It's Saturday, July 16th, and we are leaving Moffat. And eventually we'll also be leaving Scotland to head back to England. And today's route is basically south and then southeast, cutting between Glasgow and Edinburgh and ending up in Mor Morpeth in Northumberland. And uh, also heading down to the heat, which has been uh, sitting over large parts of the UK, except the bit we've been in. This morning is 12 and a half degrees and it's a little bit drizzly, but it's fine. I'd rather have this than the 30 odd that's forecast for tomorrow. As usual, we have a Garmin related uh, incident where John's has completely lost the route for today. It's strangely enough duplicated another, another day's route and called it the 16th, so not quite sure what happened there. But, uh, well, we've got two devices, and uh, at least mine seems to be working okay. Absolutely still over the lock, hardly any movement. Of course, that also means the wee beasties are out. So now we're on the few rather tedious miles on the 811. Very busy and stuck down a camper van so no chance to overtake. We're now on some <laughs> road that's so minor that it didn't even have a sign pointing where it went to. So, <laughs> okay. Should be entertaining. Well, it wouldn't be an arse tour with about a, without a bit of uh, strange country windy track stuff. Usually at some point to come across some local who knows the road and doesn't expect anybody else but that's only two lunatic motorbikes to be right. Very good quality, grass down the middle and a collection of holes held together with gravel. 
that's it. Better off on the 811. 811. <laughs> oh well, gives you a laugh. Well, Satnev says go forwards, 1.2 miles. Uh, that might be difficult. Time for a, uh, a reset. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can find. So where are we actually heading for? I have no idea. Northumberland? Where the f*** is this heading? <laughs> Onwards. So let's try again. Well, we're not having much fun this morning with road closures because we've now had to make another diversion because the road that we were just about to go down is the one that's got the closed bridge. Again, can't seem to get away from the damn place. After two diversions, all roads lead to the 811, it seems. Oh, for God's sake, now it's trying to make me do a U turn. Seriously, stupid bloody sat nav. Should make me drive two miles to do a U turn on a main road. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. So we're now on the B822, which is our little uh, re-diversion to try and avoid the closed bridge. Let's hope that's the last of our diversions for the day. down this road the other day. Feels very familiar. side of Scotland where we come past Glasgow or rather built up not very picturesque so I won't do much filming 
coming up, just had a good lunch stop. Savoury and sweet coffee in Carnus on A73. And we're continuing to head towards Edinburgh and Peebles. Sunny. fuel in Coldstream and now for the last 40 odd miles to the pub near Morbeth. Welcome to England. the A697 onto an uh, unclassified road, basically a sort of a back route through to where we're staying tonight, the Dyke Newark pub.
when you drink. Me too. Oh dear. <laughs> Become. Become. Stupid duh, thank you. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, the 16th of July. We are leaving the Dyke Nuke Inn because of the forecast today due to get up to about 32 degrees by the time we get home we've made the decision to uh, skip the uh, the windy bits that we planned for today and just head straight home always a shame but uh, after nine days away you kind of get to the stage where it's, yeah, I want to get home now it's been a really good trip mentioned uh, yesterday but managed to stay in the coolest and wettest part of the entire UK done some old roads uh, some new roads uh, rediscovered some old roads or oh, rediscovered how good they are I'll toss up the mileage when I get home because what I probably won't, won't do is film the rest of the journey back because it's rather boring it's all motorway as I've uh, mentioned on a couple of comments before I make these videos mainly for myself uh, and for John as mementos and hopefully they also give some people some ideas and uh, inspiration for making their own trips seeing uh, some of the fantastic scenery and roads that particularly Scotland has got to offer well ladies and gentlemen this is the end of Ars 2022 and we end it as we always end it with the usual greeting 